In this video, I want to talk about video game addiction and the three steps that I took to overcome it. I am now three months video game sober. Now, to many of you, that may not seem like much, but if you are in deep with video games like I was, even that can seem like a challenge. So this is what worked for me. I hope it works for you. Step one, acknowledge the problem. I know this might sound like psychology mumbo jumbo, but I really do think this is the first step and I'll tell you why. I have played video games my entire life. I'm 30 years old now, but I remember when I was seven or eight going over to my brother's friend's house playing PlayStation 1, right? And I've, I've played everything you can imagine since then. But the game that really got me hooked was a game called World of Warcraft. Um, I started playing World of Warcraft back in 2004 when I was 12 years old and um, I was playing it earlier this year as well so that's that's 19 years for one game. Now there have been periods of time where I was off World of Warcraft but you can be sure that whenever I got bored or had a long summer break or whatever World of Warcraft would come calling and I'd go back to it. It got to its worst a few months ago when I was playing a lot of World of Warcraft for any of you who play the game, you can appreciate how many hours it can take up of your life. So I was part of something called a mythic raid group, which is basically when 20 people from all over the world log on at the same time, maybe three times a week for a few hours each time to try and defeat the, the hardest parts of the game. But for those of you who know about this, you will also know that it's not just those nine hours a week with the people. You also have to make sure that your character is as strong as possible to keep your place in the team. So you have to do all these extra activities as well. So really that nine hours turns into more like 20 hours a week. And I was playing around 20 hours a week a few months ago, which is like a part-time job. It's crazy. Now, deep down, I'd felt like this was a problem for a number of years, but I always came up with excuses as to why it was okay, right? Um, it's it's a lockdown and therefore it's fine for me to be playing right now or this is a new expansion so I'm playing a lot now but in a few months it'll be less. I always had an excuse as to why I should be playing this game even though I knew I was playing too much, I knew it was impacting my life. I'm sure many of you can relate to this. Now the moment I stopped and acknowledged that this was a problem was as I say a few months ago when I was preparing to go on a family vacation. This was to meet some family abroad that I hadn't seen for a very long time. And I was desperately looking for ways that I could play this game while I was away on holiday. So I was actually looking at bringing an old laptop with me so that I could kind of take time away from the family to actually play this game. Um, but the problem was I didn't know if my laptop was gonna be powerful enough. So what ended up happening was that the night before the flight, um, I set my alarm one hour early and I had my laptop downloading the game. The idea was that I could wake up an hour early, play the game and make sure that the laptop was fast enough and then still have time to repack my suitcase and find room for my laptop. Now, I don't know what it was, but when I woke up to do this, I just suddenly realized this, this has to stop. Right, what am I doing? And then on top of that, I started to feel pain. And I think this is absolutely key to giving up video games. I, I felt this pain and I decided to, to run with it, right? I started to look back on how many, how many hours I put into this game and just how much I missed out on over the years. What would my life be like if I had stopped playing the game years and years ago? What am I missing out on now? And I really kind of went deep into that thought to try and feel as much pain as possible. And I think this is absolutely key. Sigmund Freud, the man himself, he, he talks about kind of as humans, we, we run away from pain towards pleasure and that this kind of dictates our actions. So I think that in order to give up video games, you really have to group video games with pain rather than seeing them as some, some pleasurable outlet. If you visualize and think about video games as pain, you'll start to run away from that towards other things. So 
as I say, when I woke up that morning, I started to go really deep into why video games were bad for me, what damage they'd caused me, and tried to associate video games with pain. Once you've done this, then you can start to flip it around. And that brings me on to my next point. Step two, life is an RPG. Make your life the game. So the next step is to acknowledge why do you actually play video games? Why is it that you can't stop? Why are you addicted to these games? For me, I realised that I loved playing World of Warcraft because I was always improving. Every time I levelled up, every time I got a new piece of gear, I felt some sense of achievement. So I decided to use this and to chase those feelings in real life, improving myself rather than improving the character in the game. I decided to replace games with hobbies, with learning new skills, with self-improvement. I basically tried to think of as many things as possible that I could do to fill up my day and therefore be so busy that I didn't even have time to play games. Once I had this substitution plan, I was able to move on to step three, which is to stop completely. Over the years, I'd previously tried to limit myself playing, uh, kind of two hours a day, one hour a day, things like that, but it never actually worked. As soon as I started playing, even if I set an alarm, those alarms would get snoozed way too easily. And it's especially difficult if you're playing a game that's time sensitive, right? So I could be playing World of Warcraft and I could be halfway through a dungeon and I need another 10 minutes to finish this. So let's say my alarm goes off, I still have 10 minutes left, I'll finish that activity. The problem is that once you finish that activity, you've already broken that promise to yourself that you're going to stop and you don't stop, you just continue and before you know it, you're four hours into another gaming session. The only way that worked was to stop completely. For me, I timed this around a vacation, so I had two weeks of not playing any games. I, I had no choice, there was no, no way of playing the game. So I had these two weeks of detox. Now, once I returned from my two weeks, I now had my days planned out with all of these self-improvement hobbies, habits that I was gonna introduce into my life. And I was able to fill out my days catching up on the things that I'd missed out on over the last decade or so playing hours and hours and hours a day of video games. I had broken the cycle and now I didn't want to restart it. And since then, I have not played any video games and I can safely say it feels very liberating. Um, if you're in this situation and you're thinking of giving up video games, you've got a video game addiction, take it from me. Once you have given up, it feels great. Now, do I think I'm never gonna play a video game again? No, I mean, I think it has been such a big part of my life for so many years that there will be moments of weakness where I relapse. But when that happens, I'm going to try and not be too hard on myself, but at the same time, quit as quickly as possible so I don't get back into this downward spiral of vesting hours and hours a day into something that doesn't really mean anything. I know it's a cliche, but life is too short to be living anything other than your own life. So there we have it. The three steps that I took to overcome my video game addiction. One, acknowledge it's a problem. Two, turn your life into the video game. And three, stop completely. I really hope you found this useful. And if you are in the process of giving up on video games, good luck, you've got this, and I'll see you in the next video.